Hi guys, so I know it's been a little bit, um, I am back with a different kind of video for you. My light keeps turning on, I don't know if it's just too sensitive, but, um, so I don't normally do these types of readings, I don't normally do political stuff, but I have to tell you that there's some stuff being activated in my chart right now that's really kind of sent me on this journey of places I've never been before. Um, it's had me feeling very, in, like, wanting to speak out about injustices and things like that. Um, the reason why I haven't been around is... I don't know, again, if it's dehydration or the astrological thing is just hitting me hard and I'm a little more sensitive to it. Um, apparently, it's it's hitting my the conjunction. There's a Mars-Jupiter conjunction. So if we look at Mars being kind of like anger a little bit or impulsiveness and Jupiter expanding that, and then we have it in my fifth house, but it's at a cancer degree. So it's really a time where I'm speaking out about women and the injustices of women and how I feel about powerful men getting away with things with women. And I think that, yes, that's been my big talking point because of that reason. Um, and as I tell you, as I've always told you guys, like I'm a victim myself in a kind of a different situation, but I just can't handle it. And I think the biggest thing for me is because I'm about truth and justice and I see things a certain way. And I feel like I get very upset if others can't see what I see and hope that their minds will be changed and they will open their eyes and they will awaken to the type of person that this is. And this is not a, this is again, not for blue or red. This is for humanity. And this is not an against Trump type thing, but spirit has pulled me into this because in my auto rights, I've gotten stuff on him in the past. So because this might be public one day, I don't really know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, I am a mess right now. Like I said, my energy, I've been struggling and, um, I've been really pushed to do this. And so that's why I'm doing it. And I'm a little nervous about it. So I wanted to post it on Patreon first and see the feedback that I get. Um, and see what kind of cards I get and whatnot. So before I go into what I've gotten before, what I feel like all the puzzle pieces mean before I get into the reading, just so you know, all the ways to support me are in the description box below. I have merchandise that is also in all the videos. The link is there. The, there's a link tree for all of my links and ways to reach out on social media. If you are a part of Patreon um, members or TikToks uh, subscription, there's also a Discord uh, chat. Um, I do have right now some uh, merchandise to support Justice's training. Uh, Steven is helping me as he can, but I also want to help. And if anybody wants to help with that, it is to train him to be a search cadaver dog to work for missing people. That is a dream that I am chasing right now. So if anybody wants to purchase something, know that the... Um, Everything, you know, the stuff from that purchase, the money from that purchase is going to go towards his training. Um, I also will be posting a video in here somewhere about Otter Spirit and these. I'm an ambassador for them. So um, if you want anything like that, also the link is in my link tree. Make sure that you follow the directions on the video. And I'm also still doing the jewelry. Um, you know, I still have bracelets and keychains and... I still have the angel wing necklaces and things like that. I'm trying to get those done and accomplished because I am very behind on everything because I've been literally like just so exhausted to where I can't even barely function. And again, I don't know again if it's dehydration coupled with the astro astrological stuff, but I think I've been hit, being hit very hard by the astrological influences. Okay, so I just wanted to throw that out there. All right, so... Going back to auto rate, um, I might clip it in here if I can find it. Uh, not sure why they showed it to me. Again, they show me Trump's name crossed out now. That's not because it's something I want to see or because I don't like him or whatever. It's just what they show me. I'm just repeating it. 
they've shown it before they're showing it again like bombshell things are going to drop in terms of the election by the way or in terms of who is going to end up being president and it feels like we will get a younger step in due to other circumstances that i've stated in previous auto rates and i don't like to go into this but this is what was coming in i have felt for a while that biden i don't like to make these kind of predictions that biden is um, unwell, and I always get reference to his head and brain, and I don't feel Trump will get away with his misdealing so far. Regardless, anything that happens with him will cause unrest as far as I'm going with that. I, do, I won't do politics or anything on Trump because I read energy and people really don't like what I have to say on that subject. To the president and his heart, and I would keep an eye on that. Not sure why, but they also showed me, um, they show me the brain and the blood in the brain, which usually I get with a stroke or a blood clot or something of that nature. Not sure when it could happen, if it will happen anytime soon. I've gotten something similar before. Feels a bit in the future. The indictment on Trump will stand. I go back to my earlier auto rights. Called that before it ever came out. Not going to get political here. So I feel like he, we will have someone new as I get a change in power, but a new face. Huge demise in America, if not. I feel a shift in power. I've gotten this before. I also see a gavel on Trump. I know that this has kind of been going on, but I see jail time with it. And there are things that people don't know that will come out. But you can go back because I've got. Um, and I think, again, this is why Spirit's pushing me so much. Because there's a, going to be a lot of important things that happen around election. Um, and or coming up on election. Like there's going to be a lot of they show me like a lot of twists and turns, like a lot of kind of chaotic things or things that maybe we're not used to seeing with an election or that we've already had that right but there's going to be i think even more and i hope that i'm right and this is for entertainment purposes only and i've never done like this type of political reading before i did do one on kamala so if you guys want to see that one um i get a lot of positive energy off of her i don't know what to say um her ancestors i had a dream about her and her ancestors the night after that so do i feel like she's something good for our country yes i do um, just from the energy that I tapped into, the cards I pulled, and that dream that I had. Um, so, you know, I, and I tried to go in this without ego, without any kind of feelings about it, but un unfortunately, I do disdain and cannot handle Trump for many reasons. If I can't look at somebody, there's a problem there, um, and he's just too low vibration for me to be able to handle him. But I'm still going to go into this with cards because of my own feelings about it. Now I've already done channelings on it where I've done auto rights. And when I do auto rights, I don't try to focus on anything whatsoever. So spirit will try to bring in whatever they feel um, that is important. And a long time ago, they crossed out Donald Trump and I didn't know in which way that was. Now, I took it as possibly he wasn't going to be president or something was going to happen to him. Um, Lizzie thought that at some point it was when he was dropped from the ballot. I don't think it was that. It didn't. That didn't feel right. But things have multiple meanings, as we know. So any kind of thing that I tell you, past, present, future, symbolic, uh, can have multiple meanings. Not always literal in how that I see it, because I'm sure I'm going to get visions during this. And also keep on keep in mind that the cards are as I perceive them. I'm actually new to working with tarot cards, and I've done a little bit more research on how to work with these types of tarot cards. So I'm going to be implementing them if they make sense to me. If I can, I'm trying to again expand every expand everything and use as many validation methods as I can and different things that I can. It doesn't mean that I'm never going to channel again or anything like that. This is just a tool and tool is always symbolism and it's always an extension of the user. So if someone always has gifts, their cards will be more accurate, which I've noticed that a lot of the, the readings that I've done cards on have always been accurate. Um, even sometimes more accurate than me in Matthew and Savannah's case specifically. Um, so that, you know, I can do the cards. I can shuffle use these cards to kind of give you, you know, kind of like I did Kamala. It's not really putting my brain in it, if that makes sense. I just want to see what the cards say and what I can channel off of. Now, the puzzle pieces that I put together and what I feel and what I hope I'm understanding this right, and I hope I'm interpreting this right, because remember, when we're communicating with spirit, we're getting information from spirit, we have to interpret it. So it's like our own type of language with them and we have to interpret what they're giving. So hopefully I'm interpreting this right and understanding this right. I keep feeling like in some way he's not going to make it to election. 
And I feel like all these skeletons are going to come out of the closet. Everything the Republicans have been hiding and swept under the rug for him because I feel like there's been more out there that Republicans hide and the, his people hide from people. They either swept it under the rug or whatever. And that's why people tell me, oh, there's no evidence of this. No, there's no evidence for that of that. Unless you really dig deep, you're not going to find it. He has stepped on everybody he could to get to the top. He's paid people off. He was, and I don't care if you believe this or not. Again, this is from spirit. This is not from me. This is not my opinions. So if you're watching me, you know that I speak the truth on what spirit gives me. And I will always speak this, the truth on what spirit gives me. I try not to put my own opinions into things. And I treat this kind of reading as I would any case. So if people want to know and understand what I get on crime cases and they, they, they believe and understand me on crime cases, cases and they want to listen to me about crime cases, this is no different. I treat this as any other reading or crime case. I cannot control what the cards say. I cannot control what comes through. So don't come at me. Okay, that's one reason why I'm putting this on Patreon and probably membership first. And maybe I might put it on, depending on how long it is, I might put clips on TikTok uh, subscription. But anyways, so there are lots of things that Trump has been involved with that nobody's aware of because it's been hidden and swept under the rug. The man has been a tyrant. I'm hearing tyrant. That's not for me. And... He is racist, but he tries to hide it as much as he can. But sometimes things fly out of his mouth. Um, and I also am getting a reference to domestic, like, um, abuse in his past. One of his wives or girlfriends or something. But there's a controlling narcissism there as well. Um, So the visions that I've been getting was, I'm going to go back over them and Spirit's going to kind of remind me of what they are because they don't really remember. So a long time ago, they crossed him out and I always felt it was in some way, shape or form, um, like he's not going to make it to election. Lately, they've been showing me that vision again and they just put a red, a red X over his face. Um, so that's why I feel like he's not going to make it to election. And then it's it comes across as I don't know who he's pissed off in the Republican Party or the Republican Party doesn't want to lose and realize that he's a they're showing me like a downward spiral, but they show it to me like as an airplane. So this is symbolic. I asked for visions like this. Um, so it's like a plane a plane crash. And I don't know if that's like a literal plane crash. That's kind of weird. Or if it's a um like symbolic for like he's crashing and burning in his like more people are waking up more people don't like the hate politics or the anger politics which is what she's throwing and i think the things that he's saying um people are starting not to like so there's a reference to and they show me like documents coming out and being I don't know if they're given to the news or they're given to some sort of outlet and it's going to be, this is what spirit's been showing me for like three days. And this is why they kept pushing me to get on here and do this reading. Like this was a literal push. And I was like, I can't work any other crime cases till I get this out and get this done. They show me skeletons literally walking out of the closet. Like it's symbolic, right? But I know what it means. And they were trying to be funny with it, but they showed me little literal skeletons walking out of the closet in like a comedic way. Um, so they're saying that there's going to be things that come out that are skeletons walking out of the closet. Now I've said this in my other videos and I've kind of thrown it out there in my rants where I was just like, well, just watch and see and wait because skeletons are going to come out of the closet. So at some point that's going to happen and you're going to see, they show me all these documents like Epstein files, Epstein pictures, stuff connecting him to the island, stuff connecting him to different things with Epstein. There might be another sexual assault case. There's going to be medical things um, like medical. Um, what's the word? Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Medical documents, I guess. Medical documents um, the, about his health and things like that. Um, so I also think there may be 
because they keep showing me this woman walking and, and they're, I hear like snapping of photography. So I don't know if she finally comes out about something or if she's like told to finally tell her story, something of that sort. I don't know who this woman is, but there might be another essay assault that comes in or a witness of some sort to something of that nature. Um, so it's almost like if they feel like he's a sinking ship, because I hear the word sinking ship and I hear heads are going to roll. So I, I heard that the other day. I'm not really sure what it means, but it makes me wonder if in some way he's going to get taken out of the public or the Republican party and they're going to bring somebody else in because I, and I guess a bunch of other psychics, because I was getting the delays first, but I've heard, I heard last night that a bunch of others are get, also getting delays. Now, I've been told that the delays can't really happen, but I think they will. I think something's going to happen. I don't, and, and I also see him like in orange and that's symbolic. And I'm not saying necessarily he's going to go to jail, but he might be held accountable for his crimes, which came in the auto raid. Okay. So I said, we're going to have a younger president and Trump will be held accountable for his his crimes. I did not say male or female. It was just a younger energy. Okay. The person that I saw walking on the stage, I think might be a new candidate that Republicans throw in. Um, and they're talking about JD Vance. They're putting a line through him. So I wonder if he's going to get off the ticket in some way, shape or form. I also see him on the front page of the a newspaper. So I don't know if they're going to bring out his skeletons, like different ones that we don't know about, or, or if Trump is in, he isn't in. I'm not really sure what that means, if we're, they're going to put a whole new ticket up, or if that's like before the election, or at what point that is, but they're showing a picture of me, showing the picture of him to me and crossing it out, like putting a line through it. So I'm not really sure what that means. Um, I just heard off ticket. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know if at what point that's going to be. Um, so that might be why there's going to be delays. And that could be the man that I was seeing with the brown hair walking onto stage. Um, because when I was getting the younger energy, there was another vision that came in about a younger man walking onto the stage with flags behind him. And I took that as like, another candidate of some sort or something of that, that sort. Because when I got the younger energy, it wasn't male or female. They didn't say, they just said younger energy and Trump will be held accountable. So in some way I feel like he's going to be held accountable. Also, I will keep getting a reference to his heart. In Biden, I always get a reference to kind of his head, but it's, so I don't know if something's going to happen to either like both of them or either one of them. That's one thing I, I, that, and I, I don't want to wish anything on anybody, so please don't take it like that. But the coffin and the um, White House and the flag at half staff has to do with the president. And I don't think it's Carter. I think it's going to be one of them. It could be symbolic, okay? Um, but I think Trump is not, I think that's why he's been using the spray tan more. Spirit's saying that to me. Like, he's trying to hide, like, he's a little pale. There's something with his heart that's going on, and I think the stress of the heart. Also, they're talking about him being manic. So, I don't know if that's mania and manic brought on by, because they're telling me he does have, like, I don't know if it's, like, gray matter in the brain or dementia of some sort that's starting they're showing me him going downhill. So they're using a lot of symbolism and they're showing me this. This is not me. Okay. Um, so there's going to be a lot of stuff that happens with Trump. Like he might, again, they might just decide he's a ship. He's a like sinking ship. And they just put all the stuff out on him so that he can't run anymore. Like stuff that would like disqualify him from being president and stuff that nobody's heard about because it's being held by the like Republican party. And with me saying his heart isn't, there's something up with his heart. My chest is hurting right now. So, and it's interesting because in Kamala's reading, I kept saying he needs to calm down before he has a heart attack. And that kind of flew out of my mouth. Like it wasn't something I was 
like realizing I was even saying. So there's something there. They're showing me his blood as well. So I, I, that could be cancer. I, okay. So whenever I get like the blood in the body like that, sometimes it's either cancer or a blood clot or something to do with blood flow, um, something of that sort. So, um, I don't know if you guys have noticed he's, sometimes he looks very, very old and very, very frail. And other times he looks not like that. So it makes me wonder if he's not doing things before he's coming on to make himself look like he's in tip top shape when he's really not. And I think even if he's been told these things, if you think about it, like if something happens and we get stuck with Vance and I just, people need to also consider that as well. Um, so basically the, the way that I've put my visions together, some in the puzzle pieces that I've been getting throughout this time is that, you know, Trump isn't going to make it to election. I've been saying that for the past few weeks because I really feel like he's not going to make it to the election and we've got the light going on right now. Um, I feel like I hear like new ticket, like we're going to get a new ticket. That could be the man that I saw that would be younger. I still think. I still think even if we get a younger ticket, a different ticket, it might come in too late um, or there's going to be delays in re because of all of this. Like they it's almost like the Republicans may want to delay it. So um, they may. That's why things may like be delayed because I'm not the only psychic getting delays, but I think I got I think I picked it up first because I heard delays on I think it was before I did Kamala's cards. I, I can't remember. Um, but I, I've gotten it several times and it kept coming in her cards as being like delays, delays, delays. And apparently that's something that's going on. So it's almost like they're being kind of sneaky about it. I don't know if Trump knows it, but I feel like there's a planning going on behind his back because it's almost like they're realizing like they're going to lose or something. Also, again, his health isn't good. And also, again, he's going to be account held accountable in some way, shape, or form. They're showing me the full moon. So something may happen by the full moon or the full moon may trigger something. Um, I don't know what his chart looks like for the by the full moon. But I know September, his chart is looking very bleak and very not good um, from what I've been told. Not from me doing the astrology myself, just from what somebody has told me. Um. That was weird. I swear I just saw an orb. And I don't see orbs with my eyes. I saw a flash. It wasn't this. It was a flash. Um, Odd. Okay, anyways. So, that's kind of what I feel like is going to happen. I don't know who the new ticket is. I haven't been getting information on that. I'm getting an R. I don't know how that... I know I got an A before. I don't know. It could be first, middle, last. I'm not sure. They're showing me an R now. I don't know. Um, it's almost like a last ditch effort. And again, I don't do political stuff. So me, me pushing to do this is because for one, I think spirit wants people to really know like who Trump is and the people that are woke and that aren't like have and stuck in the programming and whatnot. Um, they, they will they will see the type of person he is but i think again this being activated in my chart of the biggest yes he's committed lots of crimes but my biggest thing is is to the crimes against women because that's just who i am um this is a justice crime this is a crime channel so i'm gonna treat him the way i would any other criminal um and if people don't like that i don't know what to say so I hate, I hate going into his energy. I, I know everybody thinks he's like God's gift and he's just not. Um, I think he's a very good manipulator and a very good player. And he almost speaks like, um, like cult leaders. And it's weird. It's because I'm just wondering if he's like a, like, it's because he's a celebrity or people like see he does no wrong because he has that like persuasive persuasion over them. I'm trying to think of what it's called, but it's almost like a hypnotism or like a like attract like thing. I'm not really sure. Um, because they're talking about like he uses certain words 
or certain things that he says or the way he talks or whatever. It's almost like they're showing me, um, like, you know, those like swirls, like the black and white swirls, they're showing me that like in some way he hypnotizes like people that are weak minded or whatever that may be. Um, I, I've never, like, I'm an energy reader with people most of the time. I, I mean, can't say that I always read the great energy, but with him, I have a really hard time. And I've always had a hard time with his energy because, like, I just feel like there's so much that people don't know that's been swept under the rug and hidden. And you talk about people saying, okay, where's the proof? Where's the proof? Where's the proof? Like, he can't pay people off and, and things can't get swept under the rug. Most definitely they can. And that's not to say that all politics don't have some kind of skeletons in their plot closet and all politics aren't you know there are some good politics out there you, you take the good with the bad like with anything right i just think he's they show me literally him stepping on people to get to the top and they also spirit is saying like he has no filter i know we already know that but they're just validating that for me like and it's almost like to like he puts people down and people don't even realize it because it's almost like he covers it with humor or he just is a good, he's a good master, man, master manipulator like most narcissists. So if you kind of look at like the empath narcissist relationship, it's almost like he has that kind of like, that's what they're kind of showing me that controlling type husband. They've done that before, but basically the way that this is coming across in for, in terms of the election. And I hope I'm right because I would never want to be wrong on something like this. But again, this is my first time doing this type of thing. Um, and spirit pushed me into this. I didn't push myself into this. I think it's because it's very important and because they've been giving me this information for a couple years now. Um, if we go back into the auto rates and again, I might try to find that and post it in here. I'm not, I'm not sure, but they keep reiterating that X because I had kind of forgotten. I got it for a while, but they keep reiterating that to me. But it's almost like the Republican Party turns on him when they realize he's a sinking ship or somebody releases documents that is going to, like, totally screw things up for him. Because I keep seeing documents coming out and they say, like, like, they're stamped, like, they're supposed to be, um, what's the word? Like, they're supposed to be secret documents or, like, top secret. Like, they stamp, like, the top secret on there. So, okay. Um, so that's kind of the puzzle pieces I have put together. I think Kamala still will win because they showed me randomly her at a podium with confetti falling. Now that could be anything, I guess, but like that could be even the present moment, but I took it as a win, but I could be totally wrong on that. Um, it's hard to say because they're just visions. And I know we still have the free will to vote, vote, vote. And again, nothing is more revolutionary than this. And that's why I think there's going to be delays. We'll be pushed into Aquarius and Pluto or Pluto and Aquarius. And um, there's going to be delays. So I'm already getting tired. I said I've been extremely exhausted. I'm going to go ahead and start with the cards now. If I get anything else, I will let you know. And the one thing that Spirit is saying while I'm shuffling this is that he's not going to be able to escape this. Like... He always says he's being railroaded and that it, the system is corrupt and stuff. Yes, the system can be corrupt, but I don't think it's been corrupt against him. But um, who's Mitt Romney? I know I've heard that name before, and I don't know why that's coming in. I have no idea. I'm just telling you what I'm getting. But they're saying, like, he won't be able to escape this. Like, the evidence will be too strong. I don't, again, it feels like it's going to be leaked to, like, news or someone important that's going to leak it. I don't know. It's kind of weird how it's coming in. Um, maybe that's why I couldn't really tell why he's not going to get to the election, but there's going to be a lot of stuff that happens to him. Like, I think there's going to be a lot of stuff happening in the next couple months before election. That's going to like have everybody's head spinning. Okay. Now keep in mind, I am going to do, um, multiple, multiple cards. I'm going to actually do this one. I'm going to do the urban Oracle that I have, and I'm going to do the crime cards. Um, but this kind of tarot is kind of like new to me. So hopefully I'm understanding right. And I said the same thing in Kamala. Like I have to learn somewhere. And this is where I'm kind of learning and trying to understand. So, and I was just going to do past, present, future. But 
I don't know. I just pulled until it felt right. So I feel like this is like the present energy. We have the three of swords. It's interesting. The heart is there, but this is like, he's going through, see, it says heart problems. So if that's not validation, I don't know what is. That's kind of very interesting. Um, also betrayal and loss, upset, like separation of some sort. So I find this interesting because it's it literally says heart problems, which I never knew about this card, but okay. So although he's feeling this because we all know and we've all seen that he's been spiraling a little bit. Um, and it's interesting. I had a feeling I was going to pull this card, but he has been spiraling and he's been kind of like in a man. I don't know any other president or even person. If I would post 76 memes, people would think I have gone mad. Like 76 posts just rambles. People would think I had gone mad. I'd probably lose a lot of followers and stuff. I don't know how people can't see this because they're showing me like, and I think it's something to do with oxygen to the brain as well. Um, because they're bringing that in and I'm having a hard time breathing. So I just find that very validating into what I'm feeling with him. Um, but he's trying to, be, this is also, we, so we have the Knight of Swords. So Knight of Swords is a physical card. So it's also about big changes. Okay. So there might be some big changes that are coming up, um, because of that. Now, We have the Eight of Pentacles, which is basically someone that is master is a master at making money, is good at what they do for the most part. Um, and so, you know, he's done that. He's been able to stay afloat some way, shape, or form. Um, but is also the card of apprenticeship. So it just makes me wonder... So, um, and I feel like he's kind of coming in as the king of, king of pentacles. Um, so he has built, built, you know, abundance and wealth throughout his life, things like that. Um, but he is also like a felt businessman. So you can look at it either way, um, depending on how I'm taking this. There's negative and positive aspects to every card. So this can be someone that makes poor financial decisions is materialistic as well. Um, that's the negative side of the King of Pentacles, which he is. But what's interesting here now, if we have the um, Nine of Swords, which is a thought card. Swords are thoughts. So he's in anxiety, despair, and everything because what's going on um, he's at his breaking point and he's overwhelmed and he's in anguish. So we have the magician, um, which is somebody that creates something out of nothing. And he has been the magician because he's been able to magically get away with everything for so long. He's been able to, in that way, create things out of nothing. But it can also mean that someone is a trickster as well. Um, just depends on how every card has a positive and negative. But, you know, he has been a magician in his life. Let's just say that. And he's fooled a lot of people, so... So we have the two of wands. Okay. Um, so this is like, he's anticipating things. This is also him like trying to make plans and overseas travel as well. So he could, but he's been traveling anyways, kind of. He hasn't really been campaigning a lot, but you know, this could just indicate travel. Um,
We have the tower card. So the tower card is intense and sudden change, a catastrophe, destruction. So there's going to be something that basically causes chaos, his destruction, um, revelation, things like that. Okay. And it's intense and sudden. So there's going to be something that happens suddenly. And because of that, this is going to be him. He's going to be laying and thinking. Um, that's how I take this card. You also have to take the symbolism of there. And because of this tower moment, there's going to be... more happiness um that comes across in the end um it's like because of that tower moment that's the way that i'm taking it um the page of wands so the page of wands is, is like always kind of like setting off on a journey um it's like fresh ideas it's almost like because of the tower moment, then like, it's almost like they're showing me like the sun's coming out after the clouds. Um, and that can be on a wide scale. Um, and they do show me in my head, it's like light versus dark. S Spirit is always about positivity. They're not about someone that's negative. Um, man, I could be wrong on all of this. I don't know. <laughs> that's why I'm nervous about getting it out there. Um, but see, there's going to be financial loss, poverty, insecurity, recession, unemployment. Um, and that can, that's, that's, it. this is regards to him, not the world. Okay. So because of that tower moment and he could have, you know, he's going to lose a lot because of that. And then we have, the five of cups. So he's got all these cups here, but he's not looking at any of them. Um, so loss, grief, sorrow, disappointment, despair. He might have relationship problems after this pessimism. Um, so there is going to definitely be some tower moments and, and they are definitely validating the heart issues in my, like my chest is hurting again and I'm having a hard time breathing. So, you know, Again, I don't want to wish that on anybody, but that's what Spirit's bringing in, and they validated it with that card. So, again, tarot, well, I'm not that great at it, so I didn't pull too many cards on it, but it almost comes in like there is there is going to be a tower moment. After that tower moment, things get better, but not not necessarily for him because he's still got the loss of that feeling, but it'll be better for everybody else. That's the way that I'm taking it. Um, so, okay. So I just pulled some character Oracle cards. Um, they basically just, you know, kind of, they have meanings to each of them. So we have the journalist, which I th think is interesting. I don't think that's necessarily Trump. I think that's, like, a journalist is going to be involved in some way, shape, or form. Weirdly. There's an inquiry here as well. Um, interview, I think that's interesting. Employee, and there might be an employee involved as well. Or, but he is also, in a way, an employee. He's not president right now, so... Um, he's an influencer, as we all know. He influences crowds. He has a cult, basically. He's a trendsetter, a content, cre well, not really content creator, but follow an, in, an online influence. He's an online influence or an influence, which we all know, right? He's been the king or he thinks he's the king. He's in authority. He's had inheritance before because there's an inheritance card. Um, he's also old, so he's an elder. 
careerist. He's done a he's so he's a great dreamer of grand schemes, which we all know. He's always thinking up the next scheme. Vision cunning. He's aspiration. You know, this is what he's done for a, a while, a while, but look at that picture. It's not somebody that's like nice. And it's interesting, the magician card comes up again. He is a magician. He has been a, a magician. He's this is about illusion too. So the other magician card is also about illusion. He's caused a lot of illusion. So you can look at it. The other card is that. I didn't even think about that with the other card. I forgot. But um, it's a you know channeler of power, which he does. Um, so civil servant, basically, because he is a public official or was. There's gonna be betrayal here. Deceit, disloyalty, conspiracy, broken bronze is going to be some kind of that. There's also going to be a challenger that comes up, I feel. Um, somebody that's, it's a secret adventure, courage, challenge, and goal. There's, but it's interesting because it's like after the betrayal, we have a challenger here. Okay, and then there's a spy. So I don't know. It's almost like, I don't know if CIA is going to be involved in this or one something, something's going to happen. Um, this is somebody that's like seeker of secrets, intelligent agent. Covert espionage, undercovers. So there might be somebody that's undercover that might also expose him. And honestly, I feel like the whole assassination thing was a setup on his behalf. I don't. And he would do anything to take, like, he had court coming up. I've never felt like that was anything that was. They went and found this guy, in my opinion. Probably paid him money or probably po made him promises or whatever they did. Someone did. And I don't even think the bullet hit his ear. I think maybe it was shrapnel or something like that. Where's the stitches and stuff? It's just that just thought just came to mind. Don't hate, don't, don't hate the messenger on that. Um, but he is a hunter. Okay. Stalker of prey. He has a strategy. He always is about survival. Ninja, which we know he's not really fast, but he's a master of stealth because he's gotten away with things for so long. And it's interesting because the ninja card comes in like being stealthy about being a criminal. They only have the criminal card. And you can't say that he's not because he's been found liable and guilty of things. Trans he's, this is also like prison parole discipline of some sort. Transgressor of, of justice. And then this homeless, <laughs> homeless, unemployed, solitude, hunger, bankrupt, wandering. So I just to see where that's going. It's almost like this is how he is, but then something happens. He's betrayed. And probably see, I, there could be CIA involved in it. Like someone's going to pull up the dirt on him. And it might be given to CIA. CIA might, I don't really know how that works. They might give it to somebody else. I'm not really sure. It's interesting the way those cards came out. So these are some new cards I've been trying out. Um, they're on my TikTok shop if you were interested you can go there's a video on my tiktok on my channel you can go there and get the link for this um, i think i can send it to you personally if you want it but it's on there okay so we have the anchor when the anchor is about a time of pause so delays things like that which i've been saying there's going to be some sort of delays um like procrastination things like that a peace order a period of procrastination um, I don't know these wholeheartedly yet, so. Uh, but this is like signifying a stagnation and pause. Okay. So the next two cards are kind of, I find kind of interesting. Because the book is about learning. This is about learning of something. And then we have this. Like we're learning how to overcome a loss and recovery from deceit. This is interesting because those two are coming in together. We're literally learning about the mice, which is, and it's reversed, which I don't pull a lot of reversals. Um, so we're going to be learning and overcoming those, those types of things. And we got the tower here again. So another tower moment um and it's also the completion of one life stage 
to another, the end of a life cycle. Um, and also common issues with government ish organizations dealing with bur bureaucracy, um, adherence to laws, rules, and regulation. So that's interesting because we already pulled the tower once. But after that, we have um, the child, which is about a new beginning. The child, the child is about a new beginning, a new path filled with new prospects. Um, so joy, bright plans for the future. And the start of new things. So it's a good card after the struggle and the tower moment that we're going to have. But then there's the mountain card, which um, even though it's going to be a good thing, like we're going to endure obstacles, difficulties, challenges, um, but there's determination to fight forward and not give up. Okay. And this can be like our new president or the person stepping in, 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 in charge, having kind of like a large workload, a heavy task, fatigue, things like that. All right. And we need, then we have the ship, which is, we're exploring new horizon, horizons and embracing movement. Um, so again, a journey and it's new perspectives in business, exploring new development opportunities, things like that. So it's like a new path. Overcoming challenges and things like that, right? Okay. Ah, oh, you're trained. Surprised I even did this tonight. I'm so exhausted. So this is going to be a display of courage, stamina, and strength. And a period of taking on significant responsibilities with potential of, like, growth. Um, and a strength, nobility, and courage. So whoever takes over is going to have that because that we already see, like, there's going to be delays in a tower moment. Then things are going to be good, but there's going to be obstacles in the way, right? And then we have um, the whip, which is like, there's going to be some clash of interest, which I was kind of seeing riots. So we might have some sort of riots. I don't, I've gotten that a lot of my auto rights. I don't know what for, um, but there could be a clash of interest, disharmony, disputes, uh, gossip, punishment. Um, there could be loss of profits, uh, conflicts, things like that with the change of power or the changes that happen. And this writer is we're going to be receiving news updates and important information. And we're going to be expecting messages. And um, so also climbing the career ladder, whoever takes over. And so this could be promotion. So this could be the person that takes over after the tower moment. <sighs> um. And we have this scathe. So this is about unexpected events, dangerous with decision making that will need to happen. News that require quick reactions. So that's interesting about the news. Um, things like that. Okay. It's also anxiety, nervousness, impulsive reactions, and frustration. But in the end... I think these next two cards are really good. It's like after a moment of, of like hard period and change and things like that, we have the tree. Trees are strong. Okay. It's also nurturing self-confidence. Um, unshakable character leading to good health, personal meaning, strong faith, oneself, determination, stable income growth. So I asked when I shuffle these cards for, for the election, 
stuff. It's not just going to be a, this is not like personal on him. Um, because obviously there's going to be a shift and a change here. Okay. If I'm making sense. <sighs> Friggin' burning up right now. Um, and there's going to be joy patronage. Um, improvement, things like that because of the shift in the tower moment that we're going to have. That's the way that I'm taking it. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy. It's like we're going to be overcoming mountains and stuff to get to where we need to go. Okay, now I'm going to pull the crime cards on this. We'll see. Also, another thing I want to remind you guys of me getting the bombshell stuff. Like, like I said, there's going to be bombshell things that happen. Maybe stuff that we don't expect. So, I just wanted to remind you of that that was mentioned. Also, I see, like, Biden maybe receiving treatments for something. Um, they're showing me his hand shaking, so I don't know if that's something that's going on with him and i feel like a huge decision as to stepping down had to do with medically other than the fact that he just like couldn't deal with it anymore um and i see him in a bed so it feels like a hospital bed or some bed of the sort i don't know when this will be but they're showing that to me um, as well so like he's not doing great either um Okay, so I pulled crime cards for Trump. I've always been curious what I would get for crime cards for Trump. Um, and yes, obviously, they're crime, card. crime cards is going to be something there. But I've always felt like, again, all this stuff's going to come out. Skeletons are going to walk out of the closet. He's been a criminal for a long time, in my opinion. And this is, again, I'm not coming from a place of ego. It, it, there's evidence out there. So... <laughs> What's interesting, and if you don't want to watch this part, you don't have to watch it, but it's interesting. So, this is the very first card I pulled, <laughs> which I find interesting because it's it's fired, and, you know, his whole thing is you're fired. I just, that's why I think, I think it's funny, but fired was the first card, but there's going to be a strategy to, to that, all right? And... Social media, I think, is going to be a part of it, too. Again, there's things might be leaked on social media. People might be talking on social media. There's going to be a social media influence. And, obviously, we all know he's got ego egotism. Okay? But what's interesting here is... And I've never pulled this card before. So, that's why it's even more validating that these cards are accurate. Is we have secret white-collar crime. Okay? Those come in together. Secret white-collar crime. So there's a secret white collar crime that we don't know about yet that maybe he's done that maybe might come out, um, which we already know he's got convicted of fraud. So there's going to be, again, delays or change of some sort, but terrorism involved in perversion. So this is one reason why I don't like the guy. It's interesting that I pulled, I'm surprised I didn't pull the cult card, but, um, you know, this is, he's, he's perverse, he's perversion, and he's had terrorism towards it. I mean, if we look at the sexual assault case that he was civilly liable for, if we look at um, the hush money case, if we look at all the pageant girls, if we look at the Epstein picture, like there's pictures of a girl on his lap, like he is a terrorist with perversion. He's, I mean, he comes straight out and say, say it, maybe not as much anymore. But in his past. And abuse and neglect, which came out earlier in this reading. Okay. And he's, I feel like he's been very controlling in his relationships. I thought this was interesting. Because the assassination card came out. Along with the propaganda card. So I just said I didn't think the assassination was legit. Propaganda is fake news. So, assassination, fake news, get it? Assassination was fake. Just saying. Um, again, I take the, this is an alarm card, so it can be something that's alarming. Like maybe it comes out that that the assassination was faked in some way, or that it was you know set up. Um, and there's an alarm raised about that. This is also a time card for me. 
flight risk. Um, intuition. I think he kind of knows maybe it's coming. There's a, a dating thing here. So I don't know if this is like. Maybe fear in regards to someone like that he might know about the past of someone that he was dating. Like that could be with that one other situation that came up. Um, but we got the fear card. Like he's afraid things are going to come out. Okay. About that. And we have power. Okay. He's about power, but there is evidence. There's going to be evidence of something like this is what I was talking about. Like the skeletons coming out of the closet, the evidence. Um, life insurance, that can also be money, too. Um, but government agency is interesting. Organized crime. He's probably connected to some organized crime. We know he's connected to people overseas. That, Anyways. Bad guy. Things have been staged and was an inside job. So, this inside job, you can take it as whatever's going to come out is an inside job, right? But also, having to do with the assassination. Some revenge here because of the fraud. Revenge because of the fraud. Um, top secret and legal proceedings. So, his legal proceedings are actually happening next month. So, he is having some legal proceedings. Um, I don't know if he drinks or if he <laughs> just acting like he drinks. That's never come out about him. It could come out. Um, but things are going to be solved in some way, shape, or form in regards to everything. Like, people are going to start hopefully seeing the truth. We have a timeline issue again. I, I think there's going to be some sort of delays that happen. A secret society. He's connected to a secret society. Um... I don't know if it's like Illuminati or another one we don't know about. I don't know. Um, I know a lot of people think that he's like the fighting against that stuff. I I don't tend to agree. There's going to be a confession of some sort. He's manipulative. And he's... A lot of this stuff was premeditated. And it's interesting because there's premeditated sex. So it makes me wonder if there's going to be more that comes out. Cybercrime something off of the internet maybe. Uh, regarding work, microchip I, I take as like digital evidence. There's been a cover up of it, okay? Cover up of everything, which is what I said. They've been sweeping stuff under the rug for a really long time. There's going to be a collapse, which is again another tower card, another collap collapsing communication. Um, like, there might have been cover-up because of the communication, but there's going to be a collapse because of certain kind of communication, I think. Um, there's going to be justice. So he's going to be held accountable in some way, shape, or form. There's been some sort of affair. That could be even with overseas. It could come out that there's been an affair somewhere. Um, and there might be a witness to that. He's being watched. Central Bank is interesting. There might be some more fraud stuff doing with banks or something of that sort digital evidence and there's a meeting now the meeting could be going on even behind his back so i think that's interesting i'm exhausted um so you know some of these cards that came out were very interesting and you can take them or leave them it really doesn't matter to me i wanted to pull them because i felt drawn to pull them because I do don't feel the guy is innocent in a lot of different ways. I mean, it's it's been out there that he's involved in this stuff, so of course it's gonna... That's why I wanted to pull the crime cards. Basically, things are... are this is... This is not going to be what we expect in my opinion. Um, am I right about that? I don't know. Uh, all I know is I'm trying to put together the visions that I've been getting from since a long time ago. I don't know if you guys noticed, but the cards really take it out of me too. Uh, there's lots of things that Trump has been involved in that may never come out, and there's lots of things that may come out that may gonna shock. That's gonna shock and awe people. Um, and I think it's again gonna cause him 
the ticket. Um, but there might be other things that follow after that. Like, again, he might be held accountable. He might have some health problems. It feels like it's downhill. Like, they're showing me shiz rolling downhill. Like, but it's all going to start with some leaked information or something of that sort. Uh, that's the way that it's coming across. And that might be the young person I saw that they bring in another candidate to replace him. Um, I don't. I don't know if they're allowed to do that. I, I just, I don't understand how it works. Like I said, I'm not a, a political person. I don't understand how this all works, but um, that might be something that they do. I'm not sure. And that might be why there's delays and there's delays and everything. So um, again, this is just what the cards say and what, what I'm putting together for my visions. I cannot control either one, no matter how you feel about it. And Spirit's been very vocal with things they've been telling me in my head. Like, they don't want a man like this running the country. They've said dictator in my head multiple times. They keep relating him to Hitler and how he wants to be. He likes the power. And he has an egotism about the power. Um, and I can see why people can get um, programmed into thinking that he's this guy that's out for good because he constantly puts out the narrative i'm hearing like control the narrative like he tries to control the narrative and he always puts out this brainwashing of everybody's against me it's all fake news it's all crap which okay i could see one or two things but not everything and he acts like people are out to get him and therefore he convinces people he convinces masses that people are out to get him so it's, it's kind of like a brainwashing technique. It's the way that Spirit's bringing it in. And making he's making people believe that everybody's against him so that they feel sorry for him. And so they think that everything that they hear is bullcrap. And, you know, they want to blame it on the media or whatever it may be when there's pictures and evidence and people talking about it and whatnot. Um, I find it interesting that they're showing me, like, black and white... Um, like the H I T L E R thing. Um, and like, and then they're showing me like a side by side with like the fist pump. Um, and I, I saw interesting today. I saw an interview where I guess Trump was actually set, set in the office and told everybody he wanted to be like that. Now that's hearsay. You can take that or leave it, but spirit, that's what spirit's showing me. Like, that's how he wants to be with his egotism and he wants power and control. And he's, he likes to, it's almost like he likes to, they're saying he likes to bend the truth to get people to also follow and believe him. Because if you do your due diligence, he has tons and tons of lies. Um, and he doesn't see anything wrong with like writing or anything like that. So, I wouldn't be surprised if at some point he doesn't try to pump people up again um, to try cause chaos in that way. But he's definitely going to have a tower moment because we pulled the tower a few times tonight. Um, sorry, I, I feel exhausted after that. I don't like tapping into that guy's energy. And I got to get better reading tarot cards. <laughs> trying to like my brain is not like wrapping around like putting them together but um hopefully you understood what the reading meant and the regular tarot cards i'm learning okay so um There's going to be, there might be evidence. There's going to be stuff that comes out. Like they, Spirit's been showing me that for like a couple days with like the skeletons walking out of the closet. It's weird like how they're showing it to me because they've never shown me a vision like that before. But I find it kind of interesting that they're, they're literal skeletons walking out of the closet. So that might just be to like discredit him, get him off, get him off, get him out of the way. Like it's an assassination in a different way. There might be another assassination attempt that's not of his own doing. Um, that could be why it came in, or it could have been another reason. There's definitely something that's going to happen. I feel like multiple things are going to happen. It's going to be like, bam, bam, bam. Like, it's almost like a spiral of events. It's just shiz rolling downhill kind of thing. Um, 
Maybe they do show me Kamala winning, though. I mean, I could be wrong on that. I guess a lot of astrologers have said she's going to. Um, they keep showing me at the podium with the confetti falling. So I'm, I think everybody's pointed in that direction. And I don't know if like whoever they put in for the better ticket is going to be able to persuade people fast enough. If that makes sense. Like they like the energy that she gives. And, and honestly, I, I like her energy. She's refreshing. I've watched her. She like is open-minded. She believes in astrology, which I find really cool. She has empathy and compassion for kids and she's not, um, against women's right, which rights, which is a huge thing for me. Um, I don't think anybody should be t telling, you know, and I think that will get overturned because they're showing me like she will work to overturn it. It might not be done right away. There might be some barriers because I'm getting like barriers in the way, but she will get that overturned because they show me like the bill and then they flip it over. So I'm taking that as it's going to get overturned or there'll be a new bill. Something will change. Um, it might not be right away. There's going to have to be a lot of working involved. And also, she can't do anything without a good Congress behind her either. But you have to look at the fact that he, like, they want, he's supporting, like, taking away women's rights and things like that. Like, I always tell people, read 2025. Um, like, he did write that. Like, he's riding around with the guy that wrote that. Like, I just want people to wake up and that's why I think spirit's been pushing me because I'm a truth speaker about truth and justice and we need somebody that's in it for the right reasons that's in it for our good it's in it for the good of the country that has compassion but is also strong um, we need the empathy we don't need somebody putting down our veterans and our um disabled people and whoever it may be everybody's got their own path we don't need somebody that has no empathy towards our people because if you notice y'all he talks about his crowd size and himself like this is about humanity this isn't about red or blue this is about humans this is about humanity and people have to look and see like who is a humanitarian who is going to fight for justice for us who is going to do all that they can and yes sometimes politicians are all talk that doesn't mean she is. We have to, it, it, as a vice president, she doesn't have a whole lot of power, but they've still put things into effect. Um, you know, and I have a lot of people say because of that plane crash, like there was cancer doctors on there and then Biden came out with a cancer thing. I don't know if it's connected or not. I have no idea. Does the government shady? Yeah, they can be. I don't know. I'm getting tingles in my head. Um, but the only time I ever speak out on anything like this, because I go back and even my rants, I don't remember. I have to go back and re-listen because spirit does speak through me. Um, even if it's things I don't want to talk about, I try to be the voice. And especially in my chart right now with needing to speak up for injustices for women. And I think that's the biggest thing is like powerful men get away with hurting women in so many ways and the victims are blamed and the victims are not believed. And they think it's disgusting that women want to support somebody that's been held liable of sexual assault and has, there's proof of other things and they want to ignore it. Like, let's just believe this politician slash celebrity over the women of multiple women, not just one woman. And it makes me upset that people, that's why people, victims don't speak out and i think that's where my hang up is i think it's i think it's disgusting that and that's why i get so frustrated that women want to support a man that is like that a narcissist that is controlling that thinks he can get and take whatever he wants and that came from spirit um because literally i feel like he took whatever he wants and he admitted he liked girls on the younger side and I feel like there's been more than one affair. Like, that might even be in the documents that come out. There's going to be a lot of stuff that comes out. And I just don't know when it'll come out. I don't know if it's going to come out, like, to keep him from getting, like, going further in the election. But it's almost like, to, I'm getting, like, the end of August into September is going to be really volatile for him. With things coming out, things being seen, things, you know, stuff that we don't know about. Like, proof of it coming out. And of course, people people are going to question it. He's going to he's going to try to discredit, but but it's almost like he's not going to be able to discredit it. Um, and I hear like, you know, he's had people in his pockets for a long time that are going to turn against him. I don't I don't understand that, but I hear hypocrisy. So I don't 
I don't know what they mean by that. Um, but it's like the spirit is very serious about him getting away with crimes against women for so long. Crimes, period. Yes, he has a lucky chart and all of that, but at some point he needs to be count held accountable. And I think that's there might be some justice coming in, even if, like, and he might end up going back to court and all of that. Like, that could be like I know he's going to court next month, but I mean for other things. Like, there might again might be other women that hold suits against him or come out like that. That kind of comes up to the forefront. And you know, I'm always gonna I'm always gonna speak out for women. Because I am a woman and I'm about truth and justice. And I'm I'm I can't consciously support someone like that. And I've tried to remain as just spirit guided on what I tell you guys as I can. I'm only telling you things that are coming to me that I'm seeing and that I'm hearing. And that's being channeled through. If you can see my eyes are very barely open because I don't even really know what I'm saying right now. But it is a light versus dark battle. And I'm surprised I actually didn't pull the devil card, honestly. Um, because yeah, he gaslights everybody. See? Um, curse. He is a curse on all of us. But it says curse, marriage, wedding. So I don't know. I don't know if him, well, I don't know what her name is, his wife, or like gonna break up or something. The soul contract, secret weapon, evil corporation, which is what he is, what he has. Break up, we can take that as firing, jealousy, gaslighting, celebrity, warning, warning about a celebrity anger, and pull more. Truth comes out. Reptilian. Okay. So. I don't know. I don't know. That's just kind of what I get. And I don't mean to ramble on and on and on. Again, this is not political. This is coming from a standpoint of the type of person he is. And what I feel is going to happen. And again, me putting the puzzle pieces together from what I've seen. And how I'm perceiving the information. I could totally misperceive it. Shit. Not Really quick, I wanted to talk to you about a company that I am really excited about partnering with, and that is Otter Spirit Company. They do gemstone bracelets, and they are some of the best gemstones in the world. They are, and there's nothing that ever falls below grade A gemstones when they're making their bracelets. They go through rigorous testing, hardness testing, heat resistance, and scratch tests, and a color inspection. So I actually got the Aquarius pack. I love the Aquarius pack. Um, they didn't send me, they forgot to send me the card for the amethyst, but they did send me cards for the other ones and their meanings of them, of what the bracelet means and what the gemstones mean. So as most of you know, I'm an Aquarius. So of course there's an amethyst one on here. And I really think it's cute that they have the little sea otter on here. And I will explain to you why they have the little sea otter in just a minute, but they have the amethyst and they have the lapis lazuli. I'm probably saying that wrong. But this means I am connected to the infinite wisdom of the universe. It is for wisdom and tuition. The zodiac signs are Taurus, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Libra, which is my moon. And it is for the third eye and th throat chakra, which is really good because I am a psychic. So it's always nice to have my third eye intact. They also gave me aquamarine, which this one is really, really pretty. Um, so this is about, I navigate life with calm confidence. It's about balance and confidence, which I need. It's also, again, zodiac signs are Pisces, Libra, Cancer, and Gemini, and it's for your throat chakra. And so it gives you a care guide on how to take care of them and everything. They come in really cute boxes and really nice packaging. Um, and, you know, each one tells its own story. You can choose what you want. You can choose the packs that they have together, which is what I got. So like I got the Aquarius Libra pack, but I think it was just the Aquarius pack, and this is the way, these are what came with it. And the reason why I was so excited to partner with them is because they help with conservation efforts for the otters. They're actually based out of Monterey Bay, and 
which are the, the California wild sea otters. And the wild sea otters are almost, they almost neared, almost neared extinction at one time. And so now they're slowly recovering the conservation efforts. They support organizations like the California Coast Keepers Alliance and Monterey Bay Aquarium. So that's one reason why I really love this company. And I think it's really cool that they actually have little otters. I love otters. I don't know about you, but otters are about family. And and if you look up the meaning of otters, they have a really special meaning. So I think it's really cool that they put them on each of their gemstones. So when you are buying one of these, you are actually helping with the conservation efforts of the otters, which was one reason I chose to partner with them because, you know, I sell my own gemstones things. I don't sell anything like this, but I just thought, you know what, these are really good quality. Um, I, I really like that you can get your zodiac signs and I think you can either get and you can pick them yourself if you want to. You can just get your Zodiac sign. You know, you pick what you want. And it's a family-owned brand. They care. They've been very, very sweet through this whole time. And they have a wide selection. And you get free exchanges into your warranty. So that's a great deal. Um, and again, they're they're very well made. They're very hard. You know, if you have a two-year warranty, if you're rough with them like I am with things, you know, I don't think it'll break. So if you're interested and you want some gemstone bracelets just there is a link below but make sure to get your 20 percent off of your order that you the code rochelle 20 that's r-a-c-h-e-l-l-e 20 i think it has to be all caps but that's rochelle 20 and that will give you 20 percent off of your order if you decide to order any of these gemstones and honestly they're they might seem a little expensive but they're totally worth it because they are gemstones they are real legit gemstones and again you're helping the conservation of the otters and i love their name otter spirit it's just it's a beautiful company and so i i was so excited to partner with them in this none of this may happen i don't know i don't have any idea i'm just going by what i was shown and what i was shown <laughs> so I thank you guys for being here. I don't know if I'll ever put this out to the public, but um, we'll see. Okay. But you guys are getting it first. So I appreciate you. Um, and I will see you next time, I guess. I'm tired. I got to get off here.